All right, kids, buckle up because we have got another epic pin haul. So hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen. Going on all things Disney. From house to parks and in between. Come share the magic with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon gang, welcome back to my channel and thanks for returning. If you're new here, my name is Jake and I do all kinds of Disney content including subscription boxes, swaps, hauls, vintage trips, trivia, pins. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. Alright, it seems like I'm back to my old habits of buying pins on the reg. I have been better. I have been better. And, guys, you will be proud of me, or maybe you won't be, but I'm proud of me. Uh, I finally did some reorganization of my pin boards. I got a new Bambi pin board. I bought a new big pin board that now houses my Alice collection and Robin Hood collection. This pin board that used to be Beauty and the Beast is now Rescuers Down Under and a little bit of spillover from Oliver and Company. Beauty and the Beast, as soon as I paint the board, uh, has its own board going up. So I've got room now, and now I want to fill up that empty space, like the hole in my heart. Okay, let's get into this package. All right, so the first one is actually from a student uh, who went to Disneyland over break. So super sweet um, and brought me back a hundredth pin from Disneyland. So super happy to have that in the collection. Very kind of you. Harry, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, it is definitely going into the collection. Uh, so let me put that on the board and I'll show you. There's a whole bunch in this series. There's a Chip and Dale one, which I think I have, and then some other characters. But I love the simple elegance of the design. And of course, it's classic Mickey and Minnie. So super awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Uh, okay, let me narrow it down. Of course, you know who we're going to end with, Marcy Mouse, because she, she does the most damage. Uh, this is, okay, so there is this Disney After Pin, Disney After Pin, Disney Afternoon Pin mystery set from, I don't know, some time ago, maybe 20 years ago, early 2000s, something like that, mid-2000s, um, and uh, I have been slowly collecting them. They're not cheap. So I look on eBay. I think I've gotten one or so from Marcy. I think I've gotten one from Diana over at Dream 499 Pins. And now I have got another one to add to the collection because this was a good price. I found this on Macari, actually, uh, which you'd be surprised what you can find on Macari. I sometimes always forget to look there. Um, but it is the Blue and Rebecca and Kit from Tailspin. So as far as I can tell, uh, there is a... Hold on, I'm losing one of the Picasso's. Uh, there is a... What am I trying to say? There's like a black and white or a neutral color series that's got like a splotch of color and then like this full color series. So trying to collect it all. Happy to have another one. All right, Marster, I got to put some of these Picasso's down. Uh, okay, so then I did buy, before we get to that, two pins from Sam over at Pins and Things. She does a lot of great boards and mostly fantasy pins. If you're not checking her out, you definitely should be checking her out because she's got a lot of great stuff, particularly a lot of Harry Potter. Um, and she's always doing sales. She's got lives going on. So please, please go check her out. So the first I got so obsessed with this pin. It's like a profiling kind of pin. It is Robin Hood and Maid Marian. And that gorgeous blue background. And they're like having like this sweet moment. Their eyes are closed. And they're just, you know, they're in their feels. Um, but super cute. And then the other one I got. Um, this is from the Black Cauldron. Which you know I love. Underrated. And uh, as Disney Crazy Family was so kind enough to point my wallet in the general direction. Uh, Loungefly is releasing a, um, a Black Cauldron bag. It is so epic. And a giant pin. Uh, but this is a fantasy pin. And it is of Taran and Princess Alanwi. 
they kind of look like teenagers out of like the twilight um series or something they're slightly older they're pretty young in the film they're like 12 or 13 um they're they're very young heroes but here they look more like 16 uh or 17 but it's a great pin you don't see a lot of black cauldron i had to jump on it not like anybody else was going to take it so i have to do my part okay on to the marster as always uh all right let me grab what's in here this is a couple of weeks worth because uh i haven't actually been buying that much like i'll only buy like one or two pins a live sale and that's necessary okay so yeah this one i only did two okay so i got the uh this is i think this is the march one so they're doing this arcade series i think i missed the february one marcy i need the february one um please i don't even know what it is but i'm waiting for my games so the first one was lion king and if you remember i wasn't gonna get lion king and then i was in disneyland when marcy came shopping with me and she was like jake the first one in the series is hard to get and now i'm missing the second one in the series but now the third one in the series is 101 dalmatians this is the march release and probably april's is coming i don't really remember playing this game I'm waiting for The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, some of the Disney afternoon games, please. Uh, there was a DuckTales and a Gummy Bears. There was a great Jungle Book game. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. So anyway, that is the series. Um, it's kind of a throwback series. I usually don't do these monthly releases, but, um, you know, I'm here for a good vintage throwback. Okay, then this one. I guess if I needed motivation to get my Beauty and the Beast board in motion, I guess this is it. This is the Employee Center Limited Edition Lumiere. And first of all, you know I love the looms. Uh, and this is a, is it a Christmas? It's a Christmas one on this giant wreath with like the stained glass element. And it is perfect and epic and giant let me get him on the board so i can show you uh it's a pin on pin even look at this guy oh come on he is so good you see the stained glass kind of behind him like a red see-through um thing and you can see if i turn it this way he's there he is he's pin on pin right there oh so good so good okay uh i feel like oh no I won't tell you what I got yesterday at the live sale. It's going to give it away. You'll have to look for that in a future video. Okay, another Picage from the Marster. And then I'm going to end it with an epic. She did these blind um, bags and I bought one. It was 75 bucks. There was like 250 to $300 worth of pins in there. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to probably get some good traders out of it if I don't, you know, find anything specific for me so uh stay tuned for that because if you are trading and there is something there uh that i don't collect you are going to want to know because this one came with like eight thousand buttons for some reason marster likes her buttons also came with a chewy chewy uh oh we've got a peter pan necklace so for every fifty dollars you spend you can claim a prize ball and get surprised this is a disney 65th anniversary button snoopy I love a Snoop. E. And more Snoopy. Joe Cool. All right. So those are going in there. Uh, what did I get? Ugh. More Beauty and the Beast. All right. Well, I guess I know what I am doing with my afternoon. Painting that board up quickly. Um, so let me get these on the thing and show you. So this is... I mean, I don't know how many positions of him holding my hat and doing the Be Our Guest kick line we can have, but I guess there's going to be 10 million. And I probably don't know if I actually have this one because um, you know how that, that's how it goes some days. Um, but it was 10 bucks, so like, whatever. So here we go. We've got the Loomster. He's kind of looking high there, like, oh, yes. I don't blame him. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, yes, I remember this one now. Okay. This is, so one of my other smaller collections, it doesn't pop up a lot, thank goodness, um, is uh, sort of anything that's a tribute to animation. 
And this is a tribute to two things that I love. One is animation, so there's some animation elements on there. But this is also the One Man's Dream, the film that um, there's that little museum. I don't know if they still do it over in Hollywood Studios, um, but I used to love going there. So this is a little bit of an older pin. So you've got the reel there. You've got the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse logo. You've got the castle. You've got the animation board. So that was definitely something I needed in my collection. And uh, was that really all I bought out of that big giant box? Yeah. Oh no, hold on, didn't I drop something? I dropped something, pause. Or don't pause, it's all fine. Uh, okay, is it just this in here? Oh, two more. Oh, more Beauty and the Beast. All right, painting the board today. I don't know what color to paint it. Let me know down in the comments what color I should paint a Beauty and the Beast board. I feel like yellow is too contradictory to like Belle's dress and Lumiere and some of the gold elements on like Cogsworth. But red is so distracting. Like if I do like a red rose color that like I feel like nothing will pop. Maybe it needs to be more like a lighter pink or a lighter blue to go with like the Provincial Belle. Let me know down in the comments. Okay. So this is another Christmas one. Boy, we are doing some Christmas in April here. Um, and this is Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, and Chip at the fireplace. And they've got the rose and some books up there. The fire is blazing. And uh, it's a great, excellent, excellent pin. All right, so now we have something non-Beauty and the Beast. And I don't know if this is uh, a soda phone. It's limited edition. Looks like it says 15,000, but it is one of the Lost Boys. He is drinking a root beer float and it is Skunk Man. And you know, I love collecting the Lost Boys. So one I didn't have, good price, had to add it to the board. So that's kind of what I got, what I know I've gotten for myself. Now we're gonna open up this blind bag that she sent separately. <gasps> she didn't send separately. Oh, hold on, there are more pins in here that I know about. Oh, it's bad guys, it's bad. All right, hold on, because this is the blind bag. So let me set that off to the side. Bear with, bear with. I know we're we're running a little hot minute here, but you're fine. You have nothing else to do with your life, so get into it. All right, so we've got a few more Peter Pans, little Alice in Wonderland. Let me get these rolling here. Um, these are all, I think these are all open editions, but I didn't have any of them. So let me get, she always puts them in little bags. I should probably prep these videos uh, by taking them out of the little bags. But I like the mystery surprise because I forget what I buy. If you're lucky, I'll have fast forwarded this. If you're not, go get a quick cup of coffee, come back, get a, another glass of wine, go to the bathroom. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's been 84 years. Okay, I've spared you the trauma. I've got them all on the board here. So we've got, I got this, I've had the Starkwing Duck, but it was like super cheap, like single digits. Um, I got this Peter Pan and, I mean, Captain Hook with some of the pirates. It's a pin on pin. And then there's Peter Pan with the uh, John and Michael at the end when he's dressed as Captain Hook. And then there's Peter and Wendy at the window, ready to fly off to Neverland. So that is the sum total of what I knew I was getting. So comment down below, give me your favorite one in the comments. And then let's take a look at this mystery bag because there might be some things here that you are interested in trading for. So again, it was 75 bucks and um, it was like $250 uh, to 300 in value. So this is Disney Duets uh, and Oh, it's Snow White and the Evil Queen. So it comes in its original tin, limited edition of 3000. Uh, I don't know what year that's from, but that is lovely. I do not collect Snow White, so that is a possibility up for trade. We have got the Main Street floating down Main Street, the Balloon series. This one is Pinocchio. I do think this is a super cute series. I think I have the Dumbo one in this series, or I've avoided buying the Dumbo one in this series because I don't see it on the board. 
Um, but I do not collect Pinocchio, although the number of times I've thought about collecting Pinocchio is alarming. So uh, another one possibly up for trade. All right, we've got Disney Studio Store Hollywood. This is Star Command of um, the Buzz Lightyear movie. What was it called? I, something I didn't really care about, um, but definitely something I don't collect. So another up for trade. These are really good traders. Um, this is, I believe, a yeah, this looks like a fantasy pin. Um, Stitch. Hulu dancing stitch. I do like stitch. I don't collect stitch. Um, so definitely another trader. So let me know if that's interest to you. All right, we've got the Tigger key. Um, this is a slightly bigger key than some of the ones I feel like I've seen before. Um, so I may keep this one because I do have a small Winnie the Pooh collection. I may throw that one in there. Ooh, one for my collection. Okay. This is a, uh, is it a fan? It looks, yeah, it's a fantasy pin. And it is Dumbo in this, like, sort of funky disco uh, stained element. And it's got, he's got his, you know, little sad clown face on. That is definitely going in my Dumbo collection. And then, boy, there are a lot of pins in here, Mars. Um, okay, this is a, it's a sandblasted back. So I'm assuming probably, again, fantasy. It is a little bow from that short. Lauren, I'll give you first right of refusal if this is not one you have, because I'm pretty sure you collect this little guy, yes? Um, so hit me up for that. That is a super cute pin. And then are we on our last pin? We are. Uh, this is the... Oh, okay. Is that an extra piece? It is, okay. So this is limited edition of 100. This is Disney Pixar Up, and we know how I feel about Up, so it's already up for trade. Uh, this is the movie thing. So you've got Doug and uh, Carl, Carl and Kevin, and um, there's a film strip in there, and then there's like a little replacement film strip on the back, so you could trade it out if you wanted to put a different scene in there. It's a pin on pin. That's definitely a good limited edition of repeat 100. So if you saw anything here that you would like to trade for, hit me up over at Jake's Disney Afternoon on Instagram. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you haven't already. And I hope to see you soon on the next Disney Afternoon.